Hey friends, it's Sarah and it's time for another Little Free Library unhaul. I have, I think, about three other Little Free Library videos um, and I'll link them up top and in the description, but I really enjoy going on these. I mean, my boyfriend likes them because I get rid of some of my books, so they're taking up less room, but I enjoy them because I like uh, kind of like treasure hunting for new books and it's also fun to see different neighborhoods, get out in the city, places I maybe haven't really explored before, and get to see like the cool little free libraries because some people like go really hard like last time uh, someone had like a TARDIS little free library and that was really cool so it's always exciting to see what people have done to make their little free library personal and it's really cool to see different houses and the architecture and like the neighborhood vibes too um, so yeah I'm super excited to go out and explore new neighborhoods and get rid of all these books that have been sitting uh, in our office for quite a while six months six months or so <laughs> So I have a giant stack of books in front of me. You can't see them, they're on a table. Here is what I have to get rid of. Uh, Finding Forrester has been on, been on my TBR shelf for a while. I found it in another little free library, but it's incredibly waterlogged. It's missing a page. I thought I would use it for bullet journaling, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna send it back to another little free library and maybe someone else will enjoy it. I have all these Archie comics. Um, it's a lot but I have probably another dozen that I kept and I'm never gonna reread these. I kept the ones that have like sentimental meaning or that I remember and enjoy the stories. The rest of these can go and someone else can enjoy them. Um, Playing with Fire by Theo Fleury. It's like a hockey memoir, but he turned out to be a terrible person. So we're getting rid of that. Uh, like My Mother Always Said by Erin McHugh. It's just kind of like funny little sayings and I've read it once and I will never read it again. And I don't wanna be a mother, so I have no one to pass it on to. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger is not worth the read, just watch the movie. And so that's going away too. Um, True Love at the Lonely Hearts Bookshop by Annie Darling. It was a little kind of bookshop romance. I don't really remember it. It was fine, but I have no feelings about it, so it's going away. Uh, the Notorious Peg and Jones by Nina Berry. Again, not something that I really remember. I think it was like a socialite and like paparazzi and maybe mystery or something. It was fine. I don't have any feelings about it, so it is going somewhere else. I got an arc of Last Violent Call by Chloe Gong, but I never finished reading the these Violent Delights. I read the first one, I didn't read the second one. I don't plan on reading the second one, so this like series of short stories is not gonna be helpful because I haven't read it, so goodbye, someone else will enjoy this. And finally, The Romanov Empress by C.W. Gortner. I thought this was about maybe Anastasia or her mom, but it's about her grandma and it's a fiction book and I don't really have much interest in reading about her grandma. I'd rather read about Anastasia. So this is going into another little free library. I've got eight books and a whole handful of Archie comics to get rid of. I found a neighborhood that's got a good collection of little free libraries. So we're gonna go dump these off and try not to melt in the heat. See you on the road.
All right, so that was my latest little free library on haul. The neighborhood that we went to was super cute. It had so many really cool like older buildings and houses and also some really nice new ones. I'm sure every house in the neighborhood probably cost close to a million dollars what with uh, inflation and everything. But we accomplished our goal, got rid of all of my books. I only picked up one book um, and that is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. This is a book set during the Great Depression, the Dust Bowl, um, and I've heard lots of good things about Kristen Hanna's work so I figured I might as well pick up this beautiful hardcover. Well, I saw it at the Little Free Library. Uh, it was also scorching hot when we went out. It was like 30 degrees Celsius and we walked at I don't even know, several kilometers. So you can watch me get slowly pinker in the face as the video goes on because I'm just sweltering in the heat. But we did get ice cream afterwards and it was all worth it. It was so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Now go read a book.